about a place in a book, an image of that location forms in your mind. I had a vision in mind when I went to Belize to tell the story about the growth of Christian radio. I had no idea what to expect, but I was excited to go. My imagination would not be able to match the magic of seeing Belize in person for the first time. The Hattieville Correctional Facility is the only prison in Belize. It houses inmates from Central America, Mexico, South America, Canada, and the United States. Prison life is rough for those who have to endure it, but imagine trying to live in prison with a life-threatening disease. It is difficult to imagine having any hope of life in such desperate conditions, but there is a group of men in this prison that are finding new reason to live. <clears throat> life for me as a young person growing up had been real crazy at some point, you know being involved with gang violence, drugs, crime, you know. I came to prison on the 28th of September 2000, and um, on the 11th of November, I was listening to a talk in our chapel, and you had some people from the States that was talking about HIV and AIDS and, and what's the high risk activity, the do's and the don'ts, and how to protect yourself. And at one point, the spirit of conviction took a hold of me, and I was wondering if this, this lady that was talking, was giving the lecture, if she knew something about me, because to me this message was directed exactly to me. Someone had to reach out to these men. Emerson Talbert and those like him were the unmentionables of society, and they needed someone to transform their lives. Our motto statement is transforming society by reforming hearts. And so we believe that uh, a society can only be affected one-on-one. -on -one. As one heart is being, is being transformed by the power of the gospel, then we believe that, um, that it will have a consequential righteous effect in our community. And, um, you know, through creative uh, contemporary music, creative broadcasting, and speaking about the issues, you know, that our community faces, and speaking light into that, those, those issues, we believe that we have a, a very good chance of, of affecting the society for good, for, for rightness and, and righteousness. This is my um, studio, this box. 13 years ago, this is what we started out here. It was a little just... The original story of Christian Radio in Belize started out with a couple of small radio stations broadcasting on low power transmitters. It was a story of station managers trying to get radio stations on the air with no resources to do it. It was a story of believers waiting on God to provide for them. It was a story, but it had no impact. In all the interviews that I've done with these station managers, every one of them has said, we want to impact the country of Belize. We want to impact the communities. We want to change the communities. We want to or, you know, turn this country f towards Christ. And this pr these prison interviews, these inmates, were really an embodiment of their goal. Even though you know, they, they might not be seeing it, this is what they were created to do, and I was capturing that. The greatest mission these stations had was ministering to a small group of inmates but no single person had more of an impact on their lives than the manager of My Refuge Radio. We have been here for 13 years. My Refuge got started when it was, there was no station. We are the first Christian radio station. The other area we are working on is the prison ministry, HIV care, to call a nation to passion for purity, 
So we, we, I do a support group in prison. We have uh, about 20, 20 uh, members there that we meet with weekly and we try to keep them going to remind them that Jesus is victory for them.